Well, it still could be Pylite Eye. I mean, you could just run uh, Support Nyx. That's Radiant been done before. Yeah. It was quite popular back in the days before he got this kind of off-lane hype. Now we're going to see Centaur. Yeah, yep. Centaur, another good lane punisher. I like that choice, actually, from Liquid, because right now, like, Luna may be safe lane, maybe mid. I know they've done it before, um, Luna mid, but either way, you've seen at least a support. I really feel like the Nyx won't be off lane here. Okay. And if that's the case, like, even if, say, the Batrider jungles, well, you have, like, maybe one support Team who can Liquid's punish him right now, which would be the Dazzle. Like, Dazzle and Nyx together. I still think Centaur will still be able to get some out of his lane. Maybe not, like, a lot, but it shouldn't be too bad. And plus, right now, between Invoker and Visage, if the Invoker is going Exort, you need a hero who can actually help you initiate fights. So Stampede is actually very helpful in that mm -hmm. regard. And plus, it's nice to be able to have Stampede in case somebody gets lassoed, because rather than, like, a Shadow Demon who disrupts the target that gets lassoed, you Stampede and just chase the Batrider, you know? Remaining. You just try to kill him before he gets out with whoever he's lassoed, which can be really equally as effective. So. Like, that's only remaining. helpful once one Batrider doesn't have that uh, four staff. I think once you get the force half, then it's Reserve less effective. Time. Yeah, but you're 522 for three seconds, man. That's like... I, I guess. I mean, I think three seconds is actually more if you're haste speed to catch up to a force staff than just the force staff distance itself. I'm actually not too impressed with the Centaur pick. Um, you, yesterday, you were talking about how Stampede generally allows you to get away from a lot of supports because support nowadays don't actually have real stuns. Uh, but we're looking at here with Batrider and Nyx Assassin, two heroes that are going to have those stuns. I guess yeah, Nyx Assassin is not really reliable, so... No, it, it can be reliable, like you're right, but here's, here's my, my counterpoint to that, right? Say, you're a Batrider right now. You have two targets potentially that you want to lasso. Like, you want to lasso the Centaur to stop Stampede, you? and you want to lasso the Invoker. Do they have enough like, damage to kill Centaur, though? I don't think that you want to lasso Radiant the Centaur. He's just so tanky. Bang. Invoker, I, I'm, I'm good with that choice. But you're like you okay. You would only lasso the centaur to stop a stampede. That's the reason Prevent why it from lasso using him. it. Okay. Right. Mm. But you would lasso the invoker because he's just a significant threat in general, like high damage, etc. What happens if Rubik steals Batrider's ulti and Batrider already has someone in the lasso, and then you lasso Batrider and then you go off on a little choo choo train? Five well, typically what remain. happens is when you're when you're a Batrider, you always firefly first for vision, right? And then you blink in and you lasso. What you Reserve can time. actually do is like use napalm like the way that you're facing just to make sure that he can't steal it like you lasso napalm like right away so he doesn't steal the it spell. has a cast though doesn't it yeah but it, there's still like a small like margin for error there mm -hmm. where the rubik can get lasso more commonly so. rubik even is... just stealing sticky is really annoying yeah, yeah sticky is actually a really good spell to steal but i think the rubik is mostly picked to lift the bat rider up because yeah. it's an instant yeah, yeah. stun which is sometimes you pick sand king uh, to do the same thing but rubik mostly does King's a better job plus there's really good spells to steal in general like you can steal grave you can steal nick Eclipse. Stun. yeah eclipse even just stealing like a nuke is really strong in this game. So I like the Rubik pick quite a bit. And between the three heroes that they have right now, like Centaur, I think, is undervalued as a damage dealer because Ten he actually hurts himself remaining. when he deals his damage. But if you're able to just isolate one target and Five get a kill, like between Centaur remaining. and Visage, you have Soul Assumption, Double Edge, and Stomp. That's like a death right there. It's probably Reserve around 1,000 damage that you're going to be taking. He also he does little less damage, but no field. Radiant it's kind of cool. Team. Yeah, the synergy between Rubik and Centaur is pretty cool. Yeah. And you get a hood on top of that, then you got some massive magic resist. And he's got, what, like 3.8 strength gain or something like that? It's insane, yeah. He is power. I kind of like the old Centaur. Templar it was just so simple. It's like Ooh. a... Team Templar Liquid Assassin? So it is going to be a safe lane, Luna. Yeah. Now, Templar against, you were saying, an Exhort Invoker? It can be Quaswex or Exhort. I would probably favor uh, Exhort, just because if you... Well, they both do okay. I mean... Regardless, is harder, I think. The babies get down her shield. Yeah, Klaus Wex is harder, and it looks like just barely edging it out is the invoker. So, I mean, it's it's a little bit surprising because if you go Klaus Wex, your base damage suffers significantly, which should mean that the TA gets more last Five hits early. Remaining. But once you get EMP, the TA can like never use her abilities, Slow. right? Same yep. thing with really Ooh. an OD kind of. Thing. I love that pick. Actually. I think that's like crazy good. Why do you game. think it's good here? I mean, we were talking about earlier, uh, yesterday in MYM's game, when they last picked a, a Slark and it didn't have any impact. Why is it good in this particular game instead? Because the person that you have to focus, you can actually negate all of their damage with your ulti. And because it's not an ability that's on like a five and a half second cooldown, and it's actually an ultimate, mm -hmm. your ultimate actually completely counters his ultimate. Not your ulti is countered by Rocket Barrage, which is going to be up by the time your ulti is down anyway. Yep. You know, So you're actually negating a huge spell and maybe forcing Envy to use it in a bad situation, which he might just choose not to, because he knows that that ulti will make it so, okay, I just can't hit him or do any damage to him. And just in the sense of having multiple targets to want to initiate on if you're bat, 
it's just a good choice because now it's like, okay, you want to go for Koikfa, you want to go for Demon, and you want to go for Volvo. Those are all targets that I think reliably could get lassoed in the point. So, Five seconds remaining. And having to deal with a Rubik on top of that, I actually think that Liquid's draft is just superior. And plus, Slark is good against TA in general. Yep. Not Maybe not in lane, like, in the beginning, but during the mid-game, one Dark Pact eats a Refraction. Yep, like instantly, isn't it? Super annoying to deal with. Refraction does have a very long cooldown as well. Oh, and also remember that Slark is one of the few people in the game who can actually just tunnel vision a Nyx. Because you can just use Dark Pact, and if he care paces, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, the, the thing I'm concerned about this TA pick is what is it actually here to accomplish? Um, the traps is not going to be too effective now that Sark's picked up, a Stampede's available. Well, they kind of so, need a damage, right? Like, well, I mean, there's other mid hero now. that do damage. Yeah, but is there any mid hero that's going to do damage, like physical damage, into the late game and be able to help push towers? I think that's the biggest concern that they had because Dazzle and Nyx, not really that high damage supports at least during the beginning. Mm -hmm. There's some synergy between Meld and Weave, of course, which is going to help them be able to focus down targets a little bit easier. And Minus Armor is good against heroes that have like high base health gain, like Centaur. So, I don't know. I think it's okay. I just think that it's going to be a hard game for Sing. Will they try and do early Roche? Would no, they, they could. Once they get a... F like, if they get any sort of like advantage, if they win a team fight near Roche, I think they can take it really quickly. That's yeah. usually something that like you would do with a team that's dire. Yeah. You know, you take like a few fights because it's it's much more favorable for a team with their tier 1s up to be dire to do Roshan. So, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, actually quite interestingly, we've been seeing uh, Envy going for this build quite often now. He starts with boots as well as a ring of uh, protection. It seems like he's actually favoring this early game movement speed. Normally when we see him do this, one of his supports can gives him a ward so he could actually go into the jungle and ward it very deep. Uh, but it looks like he doesn't have that. Meanwhile, Batrider is going to be Fireflying to drop a particular ward. This ward is nice in the sense that it doesn't block any of the two camps, so you can't really scout it out by saying, oh, they blocked the camp, so there's a ward nearby. But yeah. it does actually provide a lot of coverage in terms of the gank path that the supports will likely to take to him as well as to the mid lane. Yeah, good stuff. And it looks like uh, Bulba is going to be going Exor. He started with an ult talisman, and, and typically Exor invokers don't go phase. So usually just by seeing the starting items, you can have a pretty good indicator of what they're going to be doing. Most people go like brown boots into like four stuff into travels. Isn't that yeah. what we've been seeing a lot? Well, it depends on what style the invoker is playing, right? Like yesterday we saw Ryze who went for mech, which I still think is good. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with that build because if you have such a low level of invoke, you don't have to worry about the mana cost really yeah. of using the mech. So that's fine. But depending on if you're going like a 4-4 a max X sort of Invoker, which would use a lot more spells, you probably wouldn't go mech. So if he's going Forge Spirits first, I'm, I'm guessing it might be something similar, but we'll see. Yep. One thing key to point out is that the uh, Dire team actually saw the Observer Ward being placed on the bottom lane with their own Observer Ward, and you can see that Demon's already got one Sentry, so they're looking to D ward that quite early and get that advantage in the lane. And there is what actually is no River Vision uh, for... Team C9, so that war control is going to be, or the ring control is going to be a little bit difficult for Sing Sing in the mid lane. Yeah, this is one of those situations where you're like, you hope that your supports just go bottom for you, like every single rune, because that's what he's going to need. Clearly Otherwise, it's going to be, clear. you're basically trying to rune against three people, which is not on a forward spirit as well. It's yeah. Forward spirit, uh, good, good checkers. But Sing Sing's actually dominating this mid, mid lane, for now at least, as he's <laughs> the a The first two. group wave. He's yeah. doing one, he's just hey, dominating man. it. You look, refraction. Doing work, 3-1 yeah. now, Fraction boys. A good spell. The problem is, though, it's going to get harder for him. Like, the more levels, usually the TA is the one who's going to outscale, but when you have Forge Spirits, if they just come, like, a support drops a sentry in the lane, Sing's going to have such a hard time, because you can't meld anymore to stop, like, Cold Snap from yeah. being massively annoying to you, and you're just going to take way too much harass damage in. And Exo and Boker actually is crazy hard to beat in lane. We'll see if uh, Sing Sing is going to be able to do it. I played this matchup uh, actually two times in a row in my pub games yesterday. It seemed to be actually pretty good as, oh, as a Templar. Demon doesn't have boots, has a stout shield, might have to stop for these last two auto attacks. No, but they're right next to each other. Boots first, guys. Yeah, Luna. Boots first. 380 movement speed. It kind of makes sense, though, because Luna's a hero who gains significant base damage from just one point, which you're always going to get at level one, like in yeah. any circumstance. Yeah. So typically you buy the stats and the regen to make your landing phase a little bit easier, but she doesn't need stats and regen if she moves faster and she has the base damage to start with. Yeah. It's all about the amount of auto attacks you can get out. Like, There's no point having a million damage if you can't yeah. actually click. Indeed. And plus, he got the first blood, so he's already got 1,000 gold. I'm thinking he's going Midas. 
Yeah, it's, a, it's not envy if he's not going Midas. Looks like there is a smoke and going onto the mid lane. Very zoned back is uh, Boba. And uh, while well, these guys are revealed under the tower, they do know exactly where he is. And are they going to strike right now? Man, I think they're trying so to push him. He again. is so dead if he goes to this creep wave. Yep. Yep, he's dead. Well, you know what they No, he's missing? dead. Is, like, is it going to miss? Is it going to miss? No, it's not going to miss. He's, he's, yeah, there's no way he lives through that. Yeah. Oh, it's too early kill here going for C9. Can't even say server advantage? No, definitely not. And it looks like TC is actually going to be in a little bit of trouble here too. Bone 7 just casually in the woods. Uh oh. It's going to be giving him the rundown. I don't know, man. That Napalm 3 stack already. And TC is going to just take a bunch of damage. They attack. just need two more uh, right clicks. Okay. Grave chill. Yeah, that's going to force out. Well, actually, he's out of tangles. So you think he's just going to just suicide and go back? I know he's going to tangle up and just stay here. I think he would go back at this point. Like, staying that low health. Maybe he knows that Bone 7's out of mana now. And maybe he feels just safe in general. Perhaps, yeah. It's definitely not a good early game, though, for Liquid. Like, the matchup mid, it wasn't going, like, in Bulba's favor to begin with, and now he died once, which means that it's going to be way, way harder. Oh, and Demon's wow. going to get spotted out here bottom, yeah. yeah I don't think they right. can kill him, though. Look at them jukes. Oh, stomp. We're going to hit AI a couple times. AI might actually drop low enough. No. Uh, Demon has enough go for boots of speed. I'm surprised that he actually hasn't water over to the side shot by it. It's so important for him to get the extra MS to survive. Yeah, he does now. How was Radiance it? bottom tower is under all attack. Ready to rock. A grand now? So grand, it's grand. I'm getting there. I'll get it eventually. Yeah. I'll just say it once, just like nonchalant, and you'll be like, holy, he did it. It works. It works. He's finally Irish. Oh, cancel stomp. Man, Luna's space move speed is so fast. Yeah, Luna's actually sitting at 1700 gold, 1800. He's going to go Midas. He like, hasn't purchased it. He, I there's guess no reason to not buy Midas, Midas if you're in his position. Yeah. Radiance. I'm surprised that he's just like, yeah, I'm sitting at 17, or seven, yeah. 170 HP. There's a Sunstrike Invoker on the map. It's like, whatevs. And he's got Sunstrike Invoked as well. Yeah. I think he needs level 3, though, to kill. Actually, it might not even do enough damage at level 3 Exort. Sing Sing's got that haste rune. It's going to go back mid and dominate. I mean, if a double edge comes, like a Sunstrike will kill follow. Yeah, but there's no way Centaur is going to get in range to use an ability on him. Uh oh, here it comes. We're going to see Impel missing on the back line here, Pilot Die. Whiffing that one a little bit. 63 mana drain as well. So little. It's 230. Didn't we talk about like the Nyx and Centaur problem when your abilities are so telegraphed that it's very difficult to hit a Nyx with it because you can just care pace them because they're so slow? Yeah. We talked about it, I think, like two weeks ago or something. Yeah. Like, right. if you just double edge a care pace, you are the saddest centaur in the world. Uh, it actually happened in the game when we Yeah, and he instantly died. Yeah. He went from like 100 to like 20%. MV2K Ghost still has not purchased the Midas. Courier sitting in base. I'm very concerned, guys. Dude, poor Sam. He is just getting camped so hard mid. But he got an he's item. He's got 12 creep kills, man. No, he's going to be fine. He's walking back to the tower, yeah. Radiance yeah, but the thing is, they're not doing enough in the other lanes to warrant how badly Radiant mid is losing for them. That is true. Like, Envy's actually winning that lane. Yeah, yeah, like, Envy has the same CS attack. as the Slark. So unless the Slark and supports do some serious work during the mid game, Sam's going to be a non-factor. Like, he's not going to be able to recover. No. Envy buys a Mask of Death, guys. Yeah, wait. but why did he wait so Daya's long to buy? Maybe he was thinking about items, and he was like, should I buy this, should I buy this, and this goes to number of team, maybe? Oh, no. Envy, it looks like the Stomp's going to miss, and now I think Demon's in a little bit of oh, trouble, nice. and Pale's going to nah, hit. Fine. No beams. I think he's going to try to drive him out, and then use Eclipse of Demon Jukes back into it. Eclipse is going to miss. No, yeah, the Mana Burn. Oh, yeah, it hits the two beams. The oh, it hit three, no. actually. Did it? it hit a, yeah, it hit all beams, but okay. he doesn't have enough damage because it's only level four, or level three Lucent Beam. Oh, that's, uh, that's sad. It's always hilarious Dyer's when someone picks Eclipse in that uh, ability draft, and they don't get Lucent Beam. They're always such a sad panda. I'm surprised that he actually didn't upgrade for his uh, treads. Like, if he had treads, yeah, or yeah. he would have got the kill. Well, he had to go for treads, too. Man, this mid, mid, like, middle lane is just so unbelievably broken right now. So In mid is completely lost. Yeah, and bottom is not really doing that well either. Right, so it seems like whenever there's a Slark pick, that's very a common occurrence. Like, Slark is just against the world in terms of what he needs to do. And I just don't think Slark is that type of hero. So, so Invoker's level 5? It attack. looks like he's going to die one and more time on the Molly. Demon getting caught out again. The Beam's going to ensure that the Impale hits. That's yet another kill. This time going to Pile I Die. The tier 1 tower is going to be going down as well. Because there's one point in terms of Gulay. Taking a level 7 at that. Yeah, I think it's just because he knows he can play a greedy. And now that I think about it, it's like 
Okay, we were talking about how hard Centaur is to deal with because he's very hard to zone out with his supports, but the Nyx and the Dazzle actually do enough to keep him away. And if you're a carry, like, who can just sit in the lane and hold it in one place forever because of Aura, like, you can deny creep so fast with Lunora and keep it in place or decide to push. Like, the option's pretty much yours, right? Right. So you actually benefit more from having a really greedy Daya's carry in this position because the mid lane can't do anything on the other team. So Envy can play this as greedy as he wants. And because of that, I think Liquid are already in, like, a really bad spot. Talking about the green, he actually learned a level of Moonglaive instead of maxing out Lucent Beam. Yeah, he, he did that because yeah. he was next to the tower, tower, so he yeah, might as well get a little attack. bit of hits in. And yeah, Dyer's like you said, a Demon's going to have a very, very tough time. It helps that this lane actually got first blood on Demon, so that's why they were able to kind of snowball their advantage in that lane. And if he comes back, yeah, it's going to come in and give him a little bit of Poison Touch. Yeah, this tier 1 tower is going to be going down soon. Yeah, I Dyer's think the supports of Liquid are a little bit too attack. greedy. Like, Visage kind of needs another hero who can do damage for the gank to really be, like, worth rotating for, you know what I mean? Like, having a Lina or something, or just anyone with an opening stun and actually demon, yeah. Well, TC's here, he gets the lift off, Stomp's gonna be there as well, Sunstrike off the mark, a little bit of miscommunication there, the Telekinesis actually moved him out of it. Maybe he just didn't say that he was moving him to the left, but still no kill on the board yet for Team Liquid. And I just feel as though, if the lanes are stationary, Cloud9 always benefits more Illusion. because Liquid have picked a lineup where the Sark has to make plays, right? Yeah, it's the gang like, we talked about that in the beginning. It's like, I like the pick because the hero is actually good against the heroes that Cloud9 have, but the rest of the team is doing so poorly that they need him now. Like, they can't let him farm, you know? We saw Liquid play uh, Slark about two weeks ago, and they had yes. TC on it, and I, it went similar. Like, they he got a Shadow Blade, and yeah. I think Andy was not a big fan of it. So what items do you think he should go for in this game? Well, if he's Slark and he wants to be able to go into the fights right now, he kind of needs a BKB. It's necessitated by the fact that his team is already so far behind. Now, is that a game-winning BKB or a game-losing BKB? Like the well, fact that... Slark does a reasonable amount of damage just because of his abilities, right? Mm -hmm. But if he doesn't have a BKB and he tries to go in, Logan, catch up. then Oops, just like taking Absolutely. residual damage from things like Firefly or getting Impale Stun or something like that while he's in his ulti can be yep. a different to him yep. dying. And Demon, Stop. speaking of dying... He's dead again. No. Oh, die. They're going to sun strike Polydai. It gets reflected, so uh, no. sadness on mid lane for Boba. Oh, uh, he's only level 7, man. He's yeah. got 26 creep kills. I mean, if you look at Sing Sing, he's got a hand of Midas, and this is going to be his second use coming up into about 30 seconds. Yeah, Cloud9 is just wrecking in at least a 2 mid lane. How is our Batrider doing? Well, he's got, you know, close to Blink Dagger goal, so I think C9 is just running away with this game. It's, what is, it's all on quick fit, though, isn't it? Like, it's like... Yeah. The whole game. I mean, he, let, let's say Koifa comes out and he gets a couple kills, which is, you know, kind of already a, on a very positive note for Liquid. Mm -hmm. I just think that the item and level advantage that Cloud9 already has is just too much for a Slark to deal with. I'm not saying it's GG yet, but it's just a very, very uphill battle. And unlike yesterday, where remember it was um, G's Invoker mid lane for that one mm -hmm. game that VP play? Yeah, he tanked a lot of ganks, but he had Midas, he had bots, like he was doing stuff. And I think. You know, Boba is just very, very far away from that kind of itemization as well. He went Mask of Madness on Luna against, like, Centaur and Slark. It's ballsy. It is, but it also helps you farm, like, ridiculously fast. You can eat the entire mask jungle. Mask of Madness quelling blade. With a Mask of... Yeah, with a Mask of Madness, you can kill the jungle, like, so fast. Mm -hmm. Polo died. Kill four. All right. died. Got a slice on Way too TC needs six. So bad. Like, Demon just got six, so he uses Stampede there. But... The difference in the supports of Cloud9 and Liquid is that the supports in Cloud9 actually function before level 6, like they yeah. can actually do stuff, whereas Liquid, they can't, really. I mean, who are they going to gank for? They're going to go on a TA mid? I mean, that's that's like an impossible gank, unless they have like double forge spirits already. They Obviously, do they don't, because he's not even high enough level to have. Nearly, one more level. Yeah, he needs level 9, but... That's what I'm saying. Because the mid did so bad, it's like Dyer's not worth rotating for him because he can't contribute enough on his own to even get a kill on the TA at that point in the game. So the middle lane got so demolished that Sing is three levels higher than him at 11 minutes in. Yep. It was, what, two or three ganks that happened in the mid lane? Two, right? Like, that went successful. He's 600 gold away from... No, it was just one. He only died once. But the thing is, he was already losing the lane. And if you get more behind against the TA and you don't have any points in the Wex, like, you can't even make them buy dust for you. They just walk into the tower and kill you, you know? Yeah. They also so. were hiding in the bushes beside the tower, just, like, even pressuring him. And he was at his tier 2 tower and couldn't even come to the creeper. Yeah, I mean, 
Those situations, though, like, you can't let yourself get that low in the first place. Because if you're sitting at, like, 30% life, the TA could have just Dyer's solo dived him, I think. I like die, he gives up. So the enemy jungle sees Boba, all they need is plus one. I think, actually, probably that might do enough to actually get the kill himself. He's waiting. Five lighters there. Yep, here comes the Impale. It's gonna land. The monitor is gonna do a ton of damage to Napalm just to stack it up. You have Flame Break as a question. Ooh. Flame Break and the Stampede gets him out of there. Just barely alive, but that's fine. Dyer's yeah, I don't think the Kava can use that. Poor, um... Boba's probably saying, like, I'm so close to Midas, please don't let it, please don't let me die. Yeah, that recovery Midas My guys. The sad part is he actually needs the Midas. Yeah, definitely. Is and is one of the most level dependent heroes in the game. If he can't catch up in levels, yeah, he's just gonna be attack. super sad. Throwing these, like, half ice meatballs. No one likes half ice meatballs. It's true, man. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, go full meatball. <laughs> My biggest concern right now is, like, Quickfist's first item is gonna be very indicative of how the mid game's gonna go for them. Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade. Yep. Okay, so he's favoring the damage and maybe making the supports invest a little bit into making sure that they can actually kill him. The attack speed though. I it is. No, I mean it's attack speed and damage, which is good. Like I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that it's a, a risky choice that I think he had to make because maybe he feels going BKB just doesn't give him enough killing potential. And maybe he just doesn't want to fight with the team as much as he wants Dyer's to create space for the team. Is under attack. Yeah. Just so like Bulba can recover, Way2 can finally hit 6, TC can hit 6. I think uh, Cloud9 is a good team to do that against as well, because uh, they're going for this kind of greedy farming build, and their supports are kind of off on their own. Like, if you look at the map, everyone's kind of... Yeah, doing, doing their own thing. Yeah, doing their own thing. And yeah. everybody's really farming, but Koifa, with that first Shadow Blade, he's going to go into the jungle, he sees Envy. Envy's going to oh. get pounced up? No, no, he goes back I think back he up. wanted the right click first and then pounce. Yeah, and I think it was actually spotted. So immediate reaction coming from Cloud9. Uh, TP in for Pilot. I smokes up and he's going to Vendetta. Nope. They need some vision actually to, to protect the jungle. Because if especially when you have Envy who buys his mask and man, it's mostly for jungle farming. Dyer's top to tower is under farming. attack. Yeah, activating it, hitting a centaur camp or something, and then have a pounce is a really dangerous proposition. I feel for Bulba here. Uh, they see an alley on the side, Dyer's so they also have Sam P on the as well, but it looks like they're chasing with the Sam P trying to get the lip off. They find Aoi, Aoi's gonna have a trap under him. Grave immediately, so he should be fine for now. Dyer's oh, top tower is yeah, under yeah, attack. So alive, the birds are giving him chase, but Mew on the back line is gonna be big eclipsed. Getting one kill, Boba now slowed up, and that should be it. Looks like he's gonna just run out of there. Sunstrike, was it being able? Dyer's sure. top tower is under attack. Another miscommunication with the centaur and the lip. Yeah, he missed his stomp. Yeah. Like, well, he would have died Radiant's before Grave there if the stone blinded. He's a stand-in, so it's kind of understandable. You know. Well, I mean, the telekinesis should have just, fallen. like, brought him back. Yeah. Like, that was one where he was expecting a sun strike, so he didn't move him? Yeah, it was he, probably earlier they were shouting at him, like... Yeah. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Regeneration! It happens, man. Sun strike's tough. Tier 1 pressure on the top lane as well, as Batrider is just moving past the tower, dragging away. That tier 1 tower's gonna go down as well. Cloud9 just working with a very healthy 10,000 goal lead. We're at 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah. 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 I mean, a lot of people, I'm sure, Dyer's like, they go back this game and they look at these, like, what, what the hell is that Mask of Madness about? Which, talk, definitely talk to him about that item before. He just thinks it's like a mini Midas of sort. It just get, allows you to farm and increases much, much farm. faster. Yeah. 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 I need run fast. So Dyer's you get the top quicker, tower so. has fallen. There's a whole argument. It's like, oh, but you die much quicker if you have Mask of Madness on. But that's just predicate on you making a mistake. So if you play it correctly, and like, your positioning you just is, don't need to activate yeah. it when you're being jumped on. Yeah, high risk, high reward item, basically. Yeah, is what it could be construed as. And I think because of the situation that he's in, like because of the start that he's had, he can get away with being this greedy because Sing, even though he also went Midas, TA is a hero who is very hard to punish unless the Slark or the Visage are nearby, right? Yep. Because they need that like instant damage output. They yeah. need something to eat through the refraction. And if he wants, he could probably just go BKB after that. Uh, Dude, after the birds, the when they've no damage, have enough to kill, like to take off the charges. When they actually don't have anything left, I yeah. think refraction is five damage. Yes, and the birds at lowest do ten, ten damage. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, you should be able to eat it. You were talking about the importance of Visage not only getting level six, but I think hitting level eleven is a big point. Something that AI two thousand talk about a lot is that if you don't hit eleven with Visage birds, they actually don't do damage. Damage. It's just it's nice for the first initial couple of barrage, but you're not gonna kill any heroes with it. So it's important for the Visage to hit level eleven, um, and he's not close. Sing Sing and. Um, the Luna have more farm than the entire of uh, the entirety of Liquid. Yep. Did you just add that up? Yeah, man. Math, man. Did the math. Can't count kittens? It's pretty close, actually. Um, way too? 
He just grape shield the illusion. Oh, that's fine. That he knew was illusion. So you get the movement speed. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, tower. Right, gonna come through. It looks like they're doing a ton of damage. Impale's gonna hit on like three units, though. The flame breaks gonna push Demon Shut Dodo away. back. Demon Dodo burning it up under the fire. He's still gonna be alive. Blink Dagger being disabled on Sing Sing. Still alive. Blink forward by Bolt 7. Style Shield proc still alive. Is Bolt 7 gonna go for it? No, they I want the Rubik instead. Meanwhile, Liquid Way too. Not sure exactly where they wanna go. Flame Breaks gonna get the kill. Wait is gonna go down to a Blink. Mel Strike by Sing Sing. And uh, that is a uh, four man wipe. They tried to take to the bushes, didn't really pan out. Heard the words of Benedict, seeing the trees, man. Maybe quick if I can find a kill here. Yeah, oh, no, that's that's a dead one. 100%. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Still dead. Dead. Bottom I mean, tower. Not fine. I, I was I meant to say dead. It's like when you when you're talking to your wounded soldier on the battlefield. Yeah. You're fine. You're not. You're, you're gonna pull through. Yeah, he's completely fucked. But you're you're, you're telling him he's gonna live. <laughs> Yeah. He's like, Captain, I can't feel my legs. They're like, not even there. Yeah, He's yeah. like, don't worry about it, man. I don't the bottom field. Dyer's bottom tower got, like, has triage, bottom. and one of the guys, like, has the leg in his hand. <laughs> He's like, I found it. <laughs> it's like, all right. It's not good anymore. Yeah, yeah you and, never tell him that. This game's gotten a little out of hand. I think it's fair to say. Yeah. And a lot of it was on mid, man. Like, Bulba was kind of losing mid anyway, like, in the first couple of levels. Because Refraction actually gives you a ton of damage. And it's not until like you get to, I guess, level 8 and 9 when you really start coming into your own as Exo and Invoker. Because you get double forward spirits. But he never even got that far. Well, like he got ganked. And then once he gets ganked, he's like, okay, I can't do anything. It, it, the thing is, the gank came because Demon gave first blood on the bot lane. Like the two support in me said, all right, he's dead. We're going to smoke to mid because there's nobody here. And then we're just going to kill. So it did really well. And Ewi and uh, Pilot died. Rotated yeah. really well in the So set. I think in that like one minute, uh, where they got the first blood bot and then was able to successfully pull, pull off the mid game. That's kind of where the early game advantage really cemented for Cloud9. If you're Sing Sing here, you got a BKB and say, let's end this game? Is that the... You could just be going Manta, yeah, which Manta's I think is fine. fine. I mean, it's nice to be able to Manta like Grave Chill and stuff like that. And I don't think it actually removes Cold Snap, but it just makes it so maybe you don't get hit like as much. Yeah, mm -hmm. you get more stats, you know? It's yeah. just good stuff pushing that tier two down. He could just quicker. go like casual Yasha too. I've seen a lot of TAs do that. Sanjin Yasha is not that bad on the map. Actually, I think with the Manta, you're just unkillable uh, compared to a Slark. Or when Slark jumps on you, you just Manta and Melstrike hit him back and suddenly the Slark's the one that has to run. Like, I just don't think that he could handle with that kind of damage output. Yeah, maybe not considering Dyer's like, how far ahead he is. Under far. Attack. Not creeps, but Four staff, oh. two way too. Radiant's top still tower still is under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. So what fallen. do you do if you're liquid here? Uh, pray that you can defend your high ground, I guess, because that's about the last Dyer's thing they're gonna have. Middle tower two has fallen. I mean, Centaur got Radiant's a point. Radiant's bottom tower right, that's is under attack. That's, that's what you need. You need the Centaur to go huge. Do you try and hide it in this case? I would have oh, tried. here we go. It's going to be blink initiation on the lane. Double strike is going to be there as well. Stampede's going to get him low enough, but it looks like he can activate his Mask of Madness if he wants to actually run out of there. Demon is looking for some. The urn's going to come through. Demon's just juking in the trees. He could blink yeah, back out with Double Edge, but you can see Envy's just getting a lot more HP back. He knows AEI's nearby with the Grave as well. So TP's back home. That was the first initial use of Blink Dagger. Meanwhile, the Batrider in the enemy jungle, he sees TC. TC, does he see the fire? He's out of there, man. Yeah. What was that initial gank, though, right? Didn't do anything. Well, it almost did. Yeah. I think maybe, like, if he had had Mask of Madness on, he would have died. Yep. But he actually didn't for once, which is weird, because he's been using it, like, on cooldown. Yeah, every right? day. You only use it in the jungle, though. You don't use it in lane, man. He didn't use it in lane That's dangerous. Faster. He was using it in lane earlier. Yeah. Risky play, All guys. Right, so, so Quick has got SMY Shadow Blade. <laughs> And oh, they're oh, oh PC. Uh, 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 uh. One little Rubik. That would have been a super sad Rubik. That eclipse actually went off. Yeah, MV also has a BKB now. Finally, the one game that he does get one. Yeah, it usually goes like Mjolnir or something. Well, it makes it so you can just like BKB Mask of Madness, hit the tower, right? Yeah. Not worry about it. Yeah. And once the tower dies, and you're doing that much damage, and you have glaives. Oh no, Boba. Boba. Oh, he dead. Oh, oh nice Force Staff getting away. Just got delivered. Midas on cooldown, 9 seconds, yep. Living a dream, guys. Effective. If you mask a madness before you BKB, it dispels it, doesn't it? Am I correct? It used to be that way. I don't think it does now. I don't think it does, there's, yeah. There's yeah. one, like, it's the same with a lack of you would invoke it. There's one way of using it. 
where... I, I don't believe so. You can't alacrity yourself, though, when you're BKB, because you're BKB. Yeah, exactly. But you can alacrity and then BKB. And it stays on you? Yeah, because okay. it's... I don't think it's, like, empowered. Dyer's top like tower Bodla. is under attack. Or no, Bodla stays on, too. And Tether stays. Yeah. yeah, so I think you can... Yeah, I think you can mask a man as quickly. Or maybe you can't. I don't remember, man. I'm pretty sure you can BKB the mask a I do you think you still take more damage? No, yeah, you can definitely BKB and then mass, yeah. like 100%. Don't you still take more damage? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the effect still applies, you're just immune to CC, which right, is the right. biggest concern when you have a Mask of Madness on, is getting stunned. And then you just disappear. Or double-edged. No, not the face. Looks like they're gonna try to set up a gank, or a bait, perhaps, with Envy in the front line. He's like, yeah, guys, just chilling. Baiting him away. He's not very chilling. That's right. He's just gonna go for it. But looks like they're gonna get baited. They're gonna have to burst him. Oh, wow. He just melted, but way too. On the back line with Sing Sing. Sing Sing with the haste rune. Is he gonna go back in? Now with the battle rider on the right side. They're gonna try. Trap is gonna slow. No? Never. Not gonna find anything. There's the birdies. I'm out of here. Spilani. That's it. So, in that particular engagement, you saw how squishy bad he is. Master Vanish can be if you activate it in the wrong time. I actually never really bought that item because I always screw up when to use it. Like, it's the one item that I'm like. You know, people buy it on Sven, on Faceless Void sometimes. But yeah. Void's kind of different because Void can. He has he's, protection. He's can... the Time Lord. You yeah. Know? I mean, isn't he like, isn't Mask of Menace literally the most cost-effective item in terms For of damage. damage and gold? You've yeah. said that Desolator was the most cost-effective. No, it's a cost-effective item, but it's not the most cost-effective. The cost most effective. one. of the most ones. Because Mask of Menace is 100% attack speed for 1900 gold. Yep. Yeah. That's two hyper swings of attack speed, man. But this is called Mask of Madness. Yeah. It's not called, like, You'd Mask have to of be Reasonableness. Mad to <laughs> reasonableness. Uh, speaking of Mask of Madness, Bone 7 has one as well. Look, Massive Manus is just a king of jungling item, right? Like, you just... Don't worry about it, man. Hit the jungle, get farm, get rich. Get or money. die trying. Get money, get couriers. Yeah? Something like that. Is that the same? I guess, I don't know. I'm no expert on it, but... I mean, the longer the game goes on, I really don't think that Cloud9 are gonna feel too much concern about it, because they have a Luna and a TA. But... I think Liquid are being given a little bit more room than I was expecting, given how bad the early game went for them, you know what I mean? Like, I'm surprised there has not been a Roshan attempt yet, given the fact that they have BKP on Luna as well as Mel Strike and Trap Control. Well, now that they have a Deso, they might just go for it. Yeah. It looks like we're going to see yet another gank on the top lane. It's going to be on Koifa this time. He's a, he's a tough one to kill, so... Yeah. He's an elusive buffer. The thing with Slark is that if you just hit Dark Pact when you get Vendetted, it's like impossible to follow up stun him. Yeah. Because he'll just dispel the impale. Or you have to stun straight away from the oh, like so he's 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 Yep, but they're gonna be mm, not being activated. Mask of Madness forcing him away, but not gonna be enough. Was Quakeful like looking for somebody else? Like did he think there was somebody else there? Because he just like ran past and set him away. It's really strange. It's fine because they ended up killing the Luna, but still. They've been using Luna to actually set up the bait twice now. One on the bot lane, one and on top. they failed both yeah. times? I mean, he's so squishy, he just dies. Yeah. Maybe he can't set up a bait with a hero that has like 1300 HP. Hey man, if they keep killing him like that and Quakefa starts to get out of control, like, Sark is one of those heroes that against a team like Cloud9 can be very tough to deal with. I mean, there is a grave at the end of the day, so that's yeah, something to be concerned about. Bat Rider is also insanely farmed. The strength of Cloud9 right now is the fact that, you know, you Eclipse, you go in with Lasso, and you fight around that. You know, yeah. Slark's strength is that he can go in and out of the fight like as many times as he needs to to make sure that they win. But if the fight. it goes late game, I think Barrow is like one of the best heroes to have on your team because it, when it's like you know 50, 40 minutes into a game, when you get that one pick, it changes the entire game. And Barrow is yeah. like amazing at that. It can be, but good luck getting a Slark. You know, like that's the one hero maybe outside of the Invoker that you really want to get. And if he sees you blink in, Pack, man. Yeah. Skip Q and you win the game. Wait, so are you saying that if you could dark pack the flaming lasso? Yeah, yeah. 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 Holy. Yeah. It's not great, man. It's like crazy hard to kill that hero. Yep. Well, right. You can just click him, though. If you can click him. Yeah, if you, you right click him, that's like his Roshan biggest weakness, actually. Because people do not right click him. Like Ursa, Radiant's decimates bottom tower like, is under attack. Well. Yeah, Templar Assassin is, is pretty good. But they're, they're kind of good against fortified. each other, you know? Yeah. Like Sark is good against TA and TA is good against Sark. All right, well, we have uh, Luna getting the Aegis, going for what, what seems to be a butterfly. I'm getting the Talisman Evasion first as well. I think it's like 
Well, when you're saving for buyback, it's a good choice. Yeah. But I, I think it's one of the better items out of the... Like, you buy the butterfly for the attack speed and damage gesture, yeah, sure. but the evasion is like my, what I like the most about it. Especially against this lock. By the way, this is like... There's four deaths, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has three of them. Yeah. Half-Life 3 confirmed. But he also has three of the kills. Yeah, uh -huh. three of the ten kills. Just... That's only 30% as opposed to a 75% death. That's true. That's true. Still farming very well. Sing actually has more CS than him. Like 224 CS on a TA at 27 minutes is pretty bonkers to be honest. Yeah, and he doesn't actually have a Mask of Madness. It, it actually, I think Desolator is the thing that allows you to farm much oh, quicker. Once you, you have Desolator, yeah, I think Envy may have got one. Dark. Once you have Desolator on a TA, you can see the crew wave running at you, and by the time they, like, Line anymore, they're yeah. dead. Yeah, so that's that's why Desolator is actually one of the better items on, on tier because you can just farm that straight line, man. Yeah. Work them angles. I wonder if they can actually go high ground here. Looks like they're trying to. I mean, they have Aegis, might as well give it a go. Aegis, Mask of Madness, and he's like, I'll be the sacrificial lamb, guys. He's got, yeah, he's got Aegis. Wait for that weave to kick on. Quite is like sitting in the back, he's like, it's gonna be my time soon. Just you wait. I'm gonna see my opportunity. <laughs> I mean, there's no vision here for Cloud9, because every time that there is wards, it, it got rewarded by the Slark passive Shadow Dance. So, here we go, guys. I've seen Shadow Dunking. Well, they haven't used Glyph yet, so... They're gonna have to commit sooner or later, though. Looks like Demon's going outside of the base as well. No vision. He can also get in for a little stomp here. Bone Seven's gonna get spotted out. The center will keep Sam Heat after he stopped him for a time being, but nope, he gets stunned out, and Demon actually ends up going down. Bird stun's gonna stop the advance and demon kind of speeds. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't good when you run through the fire, so he had no blink dagger. I think he was aiming for envy. Well, the stampede actually clipped Bone 7, but he forced staffed away. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, he's dead. Just, just like, it's so easy for him. That's, that's probably GG, to be honest. I mean, once this tower goes down, yeah, with the racks exposed, it's, it's not gonna look good. It's well, like with no glyph and two people dead, you're just Dyer's not defending middle it. Like, tower has fallen. I mean, the balances here. We I go. think they coordinated that pretty poorly though. Like Koifa should have been with Demon, you know? Like because he got stunned and basically insta killed, which means that they dumped like quite a bit into him, right? So that means the Slark can easily just go ham in that situation. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean uh, the team coordination just Dyer's from the, the games we saw earlier, has remember fallen. lifting what? away from what was the Demon? What's no more. <laughs> I'm lost. Maybe they should have used sneaking guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cold as ice. <gasps> All right, well, there's your GG. Look, I'm just saying MYM has a chance against this liquid. Okay, I didn't believe you before. I Radiant you victory. Fair enough. I, I didn't know how bad it was. I mean, let's be honest. Liquid did not look to be a normal It was the form. first game of the day. They probably I mean, only up out of bed. Look, Even their draft, I'm just going to say it's a downgrade from Fluff to Demon. But it's also they're playing different positions. So it's not so much... Only two people are playing different positions. Which is...